Hello friends, welcome to my channel Grammarian Bhai. So in the first video, we have done MCQs and few extracts. And today, we will continue the remaining parts of the extracts, especially its question and answers. So here is extract 2. So go through by the extracts and let me begin with the answers. So the first question of extract 2. How tall is the tree? Why did it not grow any further? So the answer is, the tree is 9 inches tall. The tree did not grow any further because it has been deliberately confined in a pot and pruned to prevent it from reaching its full potential. Who prunes the tree? Why does he do so? So the answer is, gardener or caretaker prunes the tree. He prunes it because he wants to keep in proper shape and size. Furthermore, he does it to create a specific aesthetic effect as well as to look beautiful and evocative. Next question, what does croons mean? Briefly describe the symbolism used here. So the answer is, croons means to sing or hum in a soft, soothing voice. The act of crooning can be seen as a representation of the way in which humans seek to control and shape nature. Number four, what role do the short lines of the poem play? So the answer is, the shortness of the lines is stressed that the poet wants to deliver a message urgently. The structure is also significant by using short and simple line. The poem emphasizes the confinement of both the tree and the woman. Next one. Identify the gardening vocabulary used in this extract. How do these aid in the artifice of the bonsai? So the answer is, the gardening vocabulary used in this extract are pruned, petals and branches. Together, these gardening terms help to create a sense of precision, care and attention to detail in maintaining a bonsai tree. Next, extract 3. So first question of the extract 3 is, what is the nature of the tree according to the gardener? So the answer is, according to the gardener, the nature of the tree is to be small and cozy, domestic and weak. Next one. Is the tree lucky to grow in a pot? Explain the irony in this line. So the answer is, the tree is not lucky to grow in the pot. The irony lies in the fact that the tree is being celebrated and admired precisely for its lack of natural growth while the true beauty and majesty of nature remain unappreciated and overlooked. Number three, what effect do these lines have on the tree explained? So the answer is, the lines suggest that the tree is small and weak nature is desirable and fortunate as it makes it suitable for the art of bonsai. These lines have a psychological effect since its purpose is to be small and contained rather than to grow freely and reach its full potential. Number four, even though the tree had the potential to grow taller, it did not. Why? So the answer is, even though the tree had the potential to grow taller, it did not grow because it is suppressed by the gardener to create a miniature version of a full-sized tree that is both aesthetically pleasing and easy to maintain in a small container or pot. Number five, if the tree was nurtured, it would have grown tall 
and reached its potential comment. So the answer is, if the gardener does not prune the tree and allows it to grow naturally, then the beauty of tree could be seen. The tree would grow tall and reached to its full potential. By seeing that, people could admire, appreciate and look up to that tree. Then extract 4. So again, you read the extracts. Let me continue with the questions. So first one, why should one begin very early? What do you understand by drop? So the answer is, one should begin very early in order to create successful bonsai tree. The term dwarf refers to the practice of intentionally keeping the tree small and contained in order to create miniature version of a full-sized tree. Next one, what is the significance of dwarf and crippled? So the answer is, symbolically, these terms represent the restriction that society and culture place on women who are often expected to specific standards of beauty and behavior. Third one, briefly explain the meaning and significance of bound feet. So the answer is, the bound feet refers to the practice of foot binding in Chinese culture, where young girls' feet were tight, tightly bound to prevent their growth. So bound feet serves as metaphor how women have been similarly controlled by social expectations. Next one, the bound feet and the hair in curlers indicate that the poet is no longer talking about a tree. Who, what is the poet talking about? Justify. So the answer is, the poet is talking about the restrictions imposed on women in the society. The poet uses the metaphor of a bonsai tree to highlight the social expectation on women by the male dominated society. Number five, explain the meaning and symbolism in the hands you love to touch. So the answer is, the poet is referring to the hands of gardener who carefully tends the tree. The hands represent the love and care that the gardener puts into shaping and controlling the tree's growth. It also suggests a sense of ownership and possession. So I hope the videos are helpful to you and if it is helpful to you, subscribe the channel and like the videos.